Stranger Things, round two. What's going on guys? My name is Jack and welcome back to Stranger Ricks episode 2. This is the second installment in building Stranger Things. So if you haven't seen the first episode, it will be linked down below. It's not really an episode, it's more just like a mock video. But today I'm going to be showing you this. If you don't know what this is, I would stop watching because there are spoilers ahead if you haven't seen Stranger Things Season 2. This is Bob's death scene from when he's running from the Demodogs in Hawkins' lab. I decided I would recreate that in LEGO while also adding my own spin on it by adding the upside down portion. Starting off the mock, you can see it has obviously two sides to it. They're both mirror images of each other. The top is obviously Hawkins' lab where Bob actually is with the Demodog, and below is the upside down counterpart to it. Of course, in the show, there is no upside down portion in this exact scene, but I thought I would just just add it because you know it looks pretty cool at least in my opinion it's really hard to actually recreate something like this scene and make it look good because looking back at the reference material it's very hard to see what it actually looks like and also what you can actually see doesn't have a whole lot of details so you got to make it look good while also trying to figure out how to do that so by doing that I incorporated a bunch of jumper plates and snot techniques to try and get the uh, walls inset by half a stud and having some extra ventilation to make it look pretty cool I included the basic hallway which is uh, where Bob actually runs from the demodog in the closet he hides in when the demodog is about to go away then he drops the broom and oh no it's time for him to die i guess <laughs> on the top portion you can see it has brown walls that's what it looked like in the reference pictures there's also quite a simple floor technique it's just using tiles can't even call it a technique but it's just using some light gray tiles those are staggered kind of like i do hardwood floor because i think it looks pretty cool the closet is using a nougat door and all that is just leading into a small area where i did have to take my own creative liberties to make my own shelves and kind of design the closet without actually looking at the reference material. When you watch the show, there's no telling what's inside that closet whatsoever. So I just added two shelves on either side and put some equipment on it. And I incorporated the ever so famous broom that he drops uh, as he leaves the closet, which ends up resulting in his death. So I made sure to include that. If you flip that completely upside down, you see a mirror image of it. This is the upside down portion and it's built using dark blue and dark gray tiles along with dark blue and dark gray bricks. The incorporation of those just makes it very messy and blue kind of style which is what the upside down looks like the closet is very mute it's the same as the other one it's just reversed there's a bunch of snot bricks that I use to make a bunch of vines growing along the sides I don't actually have the pieces that they used in the stranger things set because I don't own the set yet so instead I just incorporated a bunch of black plates and made those look like vines I think it looks pretty okay it definitely could be better but I'm kind of happy with it so I'm gonna keep using this technique if I make the upside down assuming I don't get the other pieces but that's pretty much it for the structure of the build However, you can't have a Stranger Things mock without actually including the very, very important stuff. And that's when I uh, decided I would make a Demodog. Actually, not really. I made the Demodog first, and then I built the rest of the mock. But the Demodog was actually incredibly fun to design, because I don't build a lot of creatures. So I used a custom design to make this thing. It's actually a little bit bigger than the one-to-one -one scale. If I were to make it exactly minifigure scale, it would be smaller than this. But I can't exactly do that with the pieces that I have. Uh, I don't think it would have been possible to make it look good. But I used a bunch of snot techniques. The whole core is made up of two bendy tubes that are eight studs long, and a bunch of Erling pieces that have studs on all four sides. I used a bunch of those because they make pretty cool head design and a pretty cool body design. The legs were very difficult actually and it took a lot of experimentation to get them to look okay. I'm not too happy with the legs. I think it looks right enough to where it actually matches the, the show and the tail is just using another bendy piece with a few Technic pieces to make it look a little bit thicker and match the rest of the body color but that's pretty much it for the Demodog. As for Bob, oh boy, I was about to say Bob from Vance Refrigeration. 
This isn't the office though. Bob is, uh, I don't know. This is a horrible minifigure for Bob. I decided that I would try and incorporate him, you know, because this is his death scene. So I, I threw some pieces together, but the vision I had inside of my mind for a minifigure Bob was not this. I didn't have any of the parts I needed, uh, except for the hair. I don't have Samwise Gamgee, so I can't exactly use that head, which would have been perfect because, you know, they're played by the same person. I don't have any medical scrubs, so I couldn't put him in the exact outfit uh, he was in when he died. He was in some surgeon scrubs, and I don't have any. Of those pieces so I just put him in these casual clothes and I gave him a little scared face and I don't know you can tell it's a scared dude running from a demo dog but it definitely doesn't look like Bob but that's pretty much gonna wrap it up for this stranger things mock if you have any more ideas on any mock series you would like to see leave them in the comments below but as always thanks so much for watching and most importantly take care guys